ओम साई राम मे बाबा गिव द पावर ऑफ नॉलेज टू वन एंड ऑल टुडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अ वंडरफुल स्टोरी फ्रॉम द बुक साई एट थ्री सिक्स सिक्स द हैपनिंग ऑन नाइन्थ जुलाई विच टॉक्स अबाउट ह्यूमन माइंड दट फॉर गेट्स ह्यूमन डिसीशंस मे बी गुड बट वाइल ट्राइंग टू इम्प्लीमेंट इट इज पॉसिबल टू फर गेट वन और टू थिंग्स इन डिवोशनल मैटर्स टू समाइम्स वी मे फर गेट सम थिंग्स दिस फर गेटफुलनेस वॉज नॉट बिकॉज ऑफ एनी नेग्लिजेंस हेंस इट कुड बी और शुड बी एक्सक्यूजबल In Sai Baba's literature too there were some incidents like this merciful Sai Baba has not taken them as seriously and have excused them that was the month of july in the year 1946 sai baba's name was slowly spreading then in south india and that was only because of the efforts of shri b v narsimha swami shri vishwanathan chetty was a joint registrar of cooperative societies he was transferred to madras he was supposed to be settled in madras itself chetty was a devotee of sai baba he was spending time every day with shri b v narsimha swami who was in madras and was discussing about the miracles of sai baba one day narsimha swami asked chetty ji to present one silver bell with hanuman as a handle narsimha swami not requested it for all india sai samaj he requested it for shri sai baba sansthan shirdi chetty ji agreed to the proposal he ordered for one silver bell that bell was ready narsimha swami ji told chetty ji to hand him over the bell the next day so that he could take it to shirdi chetty ji bought that bell packed it in a good cardboard box and took it to his house and kept in a cupboard he wanted to give it the next morning night passed morning was set in chetty ji completely forgot about the bell and got involved in his daily puja routine he was about to go to office and open the door of the car he suddenly started hearing a sound of a bell from somewhere and surprisingly that was not the ringing of a telephone then it was occurred to chetty ji's mind about the bell immediately he went to the upstairs and took the packet containing the bell he put the bell in the car and went to narsimha swami ji and handed over to him neither sai baba ever forgets us nor he lives to receive well intended gifts or presents the moral of the story baba never expects costly expensive or big gifts from his devotees however he always makes sure that he accepts or receives those hearty things which is given with pure love and dedication and one classic example is given in sai sacharita in chapter 9 about mrs tharkad it was in december 1915 ad one govind balaram mankar wanted to go to shirdi 
to perform the obsequies of his father. Before he left, he came to see Mr. Tharkad. Then Mrs. Tharkad wanted to send something with him to Baba. She searched the whole house but found nothing except a peda, which had already been offered as naivedya. Mr. Mankar was in mourning. Still out of great devotion to Baba, she sent the peda with him, hoping that Baba would accept and eat it. Govind went to Shirdi and saw Baba but forgot to take the peda with him. Baba simply waited. When again he went to Baba in the afternoon, he went empty-handed without the peda. Baba could wait no longer and therefore asked him straight, What did you bring for me? Nothing was the reply. Baba asked him again. The same reply came forth again. Then Baba asked him the leading question, Did not the mother, Mrs. Tharkar, give some sweet men to you? For me, at the time of your starting, the boy then remembered the whole thing. He felt abashed, asked Baba's pardon, ran to his lodging, bought the peda and gave it to Baba. As soon as Baba got it in his hand, he put it into his mouth and gulped it down. Thus, the devotion of Mrs. Tharkar was recognized and accepted. As men believe in me, so do I accept them. As mentioned in Gita was proved in this case too. Hence, remember, it is not the cost. It is the pure love that works with Baba from his devotees. Baba always looks for simplicity. A simple heart's devotion, a simple heart's bhakti, a simple heart's care and love, Baba accepts it wholeheartedly. Be it from a rich or be it from a poor, all is one and the same in the eyes of Baba. Bow to Shri Sai. Peace be to all. For more audios, please visit saililas.com.